One sound that's really famous is the sound tr. It sounds like t, t, r, r, t, r, t, r, tr, tr. To say the word prendre, for example, you have to break down the first syllable into two parts. P, r, p, r, p, r, pr, pr, prend. If you want to use both in the same word, we have the word promise, promettre, peur, pro, peur, pro, mettre, mettre, tre, tre, promettre. Repeat after me for the comma, la virgule, 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 virgule. So usually you end a sentence with a point. In French we say point, 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 point. Say it fast. Point, point, point. Le tréma, tréma is used when you have two voyelles next to each other. For example, the word corn, in French we say maïs. We have the letter A and the letter I together, but we put the emphasis on the I, maïs. There is one accent that looks like a little hat and it's called accent circonflex. 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 Mostly on top of most voyelles and it really puts the emphasis on most letters. Accent grave is the one that goes down and then you can find it on top of the letter E, the letter A. So it will sound like E, E, and A. Accent aigu, accent aigu is the one mostly on top of the letter E and it's the accent that goes up like that um, and it sounds like E. When you see accent aigu on top of the E, it sounds like E. What are the public transportations in France? The train, le train, le train, the subway, le métro, le métro, and the bus, le bus, bus.